Hi Leo, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading if you want something more specific and for your situation. All right, and the rules can be reversed. Always keep that in mind. All right, let's see, Leo. What is going on for you in March? Let's see. We have New Direction and we have Shadow Work. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. All right, so <laughs> you are thinking about taking a new direction or you are moving in a new direction. And I feel like whatever this new direction is, it's actually coming from shadow work that you've been doing, whether you realize it or not, okay? There are certain aspects either of yourself or of a particular situation that are coming up to the forefront of your mind. And these are helping you to turn in a new direction, basically, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that you're walking away from the connection, although it definitely could be that. It could be just temporarily doing that or one aspect of you um, doing that, okay? But there's definitely a new direction here and it is related to you uncovering shadow parts of yourself and actually doing the work on those. So maybe there are things you've realized um, that you were doing that could have been holding you back or maybe some deep traumas, wounds, negative thinking habits, patterns, whatever. And those I feel like you are becoming aware of those and it's helping you to really go about doing things in a different way. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so I also had the Hierophant um, pop out here, so I'm actually going to put this up there as well, because this is telling me that you are either releasing some deep um, rooted beliefs like changing your belief system or just really like a huge type of a transformation when it comes to just your your whole system like the way that you would function the way that you would work and it could also represent though a very strong commitment it could even be both so let's find out for you we have the temperance we have the nine of cups and we have the ten of pentacles Wow. Okay, whatever you're doing, Leo, this is really, really fantastic because whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like you are finding a place of balance from within. You, maybe you have, let's say, conquered patience and now you no longer feel impatient for something. All right. Um, maybe you are functioning at extremes and now it's like you found that middle ground, that middle point, um, moderation. That, I feel, is what is coming um, out as a result of the shadow work that you've been doing. And this is leading you to ultimate happiness here. This is leading to happiness, wish fulfillment emotionally, but as well as materially. All right, with the Ten of Pentacles. Could even be leading up to, to a particular commitment here, but I'm mostly seeing this as you just really being abundant within yourself and in your surroundings and your environment and just bringing good things your way into your own life. Let's see for them. The Four of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Wands. All right, so it looks like the, the person that you're dealing with here, they're, they're in some situation where they're feeling um, less than satisfied. They're, it's almost like a settling is what I'm getting. So maybe they're involved in another connection, maybe not. It could even be the way that they're just feeling about themselves or in relation, even in relation to your connection. We'll see when we clarify. Although I don't think so because we also have the Queen of Wands and I feel like this is representing the fact that they are, that this is how they're seeing you. They're seeing you as somebody very desirable and I can see why, because you are really doing things for yourself. 
but I feel like they they either have a choice to make here or there is something that they are wanting to do but yet haven't really um, taken action. Maybe it's still just in planning mode or just thinking about doing it. Um, almost like at a crossroads, but I feel like it, it's like almost as if they feel like they miss certain opportunities. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see for the near future. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, as well as the Queen of Cups. Wow, okay. All I'm going to say is I see love here. All right, coming up in the near future. Um, it also feels like there's this... I actually feel like you are in this Nine of Pentacles, they are in this Two of Cups. You are becoming more and more independent. You might even be detaching yourself from this connection because it feels like there's something here with this person that you're dealing with where they're like kind of staying stuck in this like not taking opportunities. And you, whereas you are just moving forward and finding that fulfillment within yourself. I do see them though tapping into their intuition and wanting this connection with you. So we'll get more details once we clarify. All right, so for you, let's see temperance. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, okay, so it feels like actually, you know, it feels like this connection with this person is something that you may have been holding on to for, for a pretty long time. And I feel like you got to this point where, you know, you were holding on to it, holding on to it so much that it just really got you into this Queen of Swords energy where you were just like, you know what, I'm done with this. Like, I... I just can't live like this anymore. Not that you don't want the connection anymore, like I'm not specifically getting that, although of course it could be for some of you, but that's not what I'm getting here. Um, what I'm getting as the main energy is that you realize that you are worth more than this waiting. And so you took it upon yourself to find that balance within you. I feel like it's more of like a, um, a moderation when it comes to the waiting, to the being patient. Kind of like rather than being very impatient and being very like nervy and um, anxious about it, you're more in this space of, you know what, like I don't deserve that. I have to release that, that energy and just you know, be okay with, with the situation for what it is. Temperance is also a card of acceptance. So even though I do feel like you, for the most part, most of you still want this, I feel like that's why we have the Nine of Cups, this is still something that would be your wish, you, it's like that shadow work is you releasing um, expectations or just really hanging on to this too tightly. Let's see the Nine of Cups. Yeah, we have the tower. Okay, wow. So it, it even feels like, it even feels like what you thought you wanted or what you have been wanting to be your wish fulfillment, you, you allowed that tower to come in. You allowed that tower to happen as in let that, I don't need to want it so, so badly. I feel like there was this huge shift. Let me get one more. The Eight of Pentacles. So it took you, yeah, this wasn't easy. I feel like definitely this is something that you work towards. That's why we have that shadow work. You, This is something that you worked hard towards achieving. That balance within yourself, that even though you want something, you're okay with letting that crumble. Like, okay, you know, it is, it is what it is. And I do feel like you would still want that. You would you would want this connection as long as it's this Ten of Pentacles, as long as it is stable. And, you know, if it's not that yet, well, then that's what you're doing. You finding that balance, you're creating that in your environment on your own. However, of course, you would still want to share that with someone, but you're pretty much, you know, just cutting out the negative energy or the negative ties that was associated with you in this connection. 
So let's see what's going on with your person. Let's see four cups. The Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel like your person, okay, two scenarios. Number one is they could be involved in another um, commitment here, okay, for some of them. They could be involved with somebody else. Um, and I do feel that this is a person that they would want to walk away from with the Six of Swords. They would want to move away from that. Um, but it's kind of like, again, like they don't take that opportunity. Like, like, like an opportunity will present itself when they can do that, and then it's kind of like they don't jump on it. Um, and then for others of you, it doesn't necessarily have to be another um, connection here that they're involved with. It, it's that this has to do with their own self and how they are treating their own self and the self-worth that they have. It's like, I feel like this is a person who was like neglecting their own needs, their own wants, and what it is that is truly good for them. And that was based off of a low sense of self-worth. However, again, with the Six of Swords, this is something that I do see them moving away from moving away from that energy. And especially when we have the Queen of Wands right after that, I feel like they're finding their assertiveness. Uh, they're finding a little bit of that confidence. And it also, it's that they do see you in that way as well. And it could be that you being so much in the way that you're being, where you're like, you know, in this new direction here, creating things for yourself, releasing that holding on, it's like they're following in your example with that Queen of Wands, all right? I, I really feel like this is you, right? Being Leo. Oh, and as I was saying that, by the way, I had the sun at the bottom of the deck. I forgot to show you guys, but I did have the sun at the bottom of the deck, which is also um, your sign. So this is definitely how they are seeing you, and it's like that is affecting this person to actually do the same for themselves and to really tap into what it is that they want and to nurture their own wants and their own needs. Yeah, let's hope Maddox does not mess up the cards because he's like right here. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> So Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. All right, so yeah, this uh, this person is really, um, they have a lot of healing. I feel like there, there was a lot of self-worth issues again. Again, and this is something that they are healing. I feel like they're taking the first steps and I do feel like they, with this Page of Pentacles, that they are learning from your example, even if it is just on an energetic um, basis. And that is to helping them to heal whatever these issues were. Because even if they are in another connection that they are not happy with, which could definitely be the case, all right, again, that has to do with their own self-worth and understanding that they need to put their own best interest first and move away from anything that is not serving that. I'm almost seeing them here. I mean, uh, you can see this. It's like they're pouty. It's like I feel like the solutions are being shown to them. And they're just being pouty, like, no, no, I can't do that one. I can't take that alternative. I can't take that option either. It's kind of like that, just missing the opportunities that they are being given. Um, but again, they're slowly coming out of that as they heal their self-worth. I'm almost getting like a victim mentality for some of them. Let's see the two of wands because I see this as them really having to make a choice here. The Nine of Pentacles. Huh. This is what they are moving towards. It's it's hard. It's like they're standing right there and it's like, do I choose me or do I choose not me? Whatever that not me is, right? With the Nine of Pentacles. Like this, whatever it is that they need to do really requires them to stand firmly in their own independence, in their own power, finding that self-worth. I mean, it's showing up again with this Nine of Pentacles and actually... This uh, reading is similar to Aries in some aspects. So do let me know if you're dealing with an Aries or if maybe you have strong Aries in your chart or your person does, because it, it is pretty similar. Um, th 
this is really, it's like they're holding that power in their hands, all right, to be this Nine of Pentacles. I almost feel like they actually are this Nine of Pentacles, all right? They are independent. They are free. They are, they do have worthiness within that they can express outwards as well. But it's all a matter of them actually allowing that to happen and to take effect. It's kind of like they're holding that back and not acting on it with the Four of Cups, not taking those opportunities. Um, let's see, let's see what is coming up. Let's see the Nine of Pentacles. Because now I'm actually feeling this might be them. Um, let's see, Three of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Hanged Man. There's definitely this, this essence of like a reconnecting, of a reconciliation between the two of you or coming together in some way, all right, for this, for this connection. That is going to happen the more that I feel like actually for the both of you stand in this Nine of Pentacles energy, like really finding your self-worth, which you are already in the process of doing and I feel like your person is kind of following in your footsteps because this is a very strong connection it's just that it really does require seeing things from a very new perspective so I, I do I do see it as something that might still take just a little bit of time but it does feel like it is heading in that direction the more that the more independent you are like the less codependency there is from both sides all right, maybe this person isn't codependent on you, but maybe they're codependent on something else. Or just dependent on something else, on their own. Whatever that is, I see them coming out of that. I see you becoming more um, independent as well. And that's leading to this Two of Cups. There really is a lot of love between the two of you here. So, and then we also have the Queen of Cups. Let me clarify the Queen of Cups. The Two of Cups. Yeah, all right. I mean, the potential here for love in the future is really, really high. All right, we have the Two of Cups twice. We have the Three of Cups here. We have the Hierophant. We had the Hierophant before, before Manix decided to destroy the setup here. Um, so definitely, I see this as something that is meant to, to come together. It's just a matter of you continuing on this path and then your, this person also finding their self-worth. And pretty much following your lead here. Alright, so Leo, if this resonated, let's see your final message. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. Subscribe, leave a comment. Let's see, Leo, final message. We have rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Yeah, so releasing that, that four of pentacles energy, that holding on that you may have been doing, you know, pretty tightly in the past, releasing that from is going to help you to clear the past and it's healing the present. It is affecting what is happening now as well as because the present is going to ultimately affect the future. All right, so clearing that from the past the old ways of being is what is going to affect the future in the way that you want it to. All right, Leo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.